Night one of the Outlaw Cart Showcase starts tonight. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. We are here at Cycleland Speedway. We ran here this past Saturday night. We really didn't get the results that we wanted to. We missed the show by two spots. We just struggled all night and I never got to make some good laps. I'm excited to be back though. We made lots of adjustments last night, Sunday. I even came out here and practiced in the 86J Jesse Caldwell's cart. Now, it's not the same as mine. It doesn't have a left front brake, so that's a little different. It made it harder to turn, but I did make some good laps and made me feel a little bit more confident going into tonight. I just pulled my pill. I'm gonna be going out in the second group of cars in group number four. We're probably gonna have 80 or 90 opens here for the Kyle Larson Outlaw Cart Showcase. Well, let's get after it tonight. Be good if we could have a good night and that'd put us probably in the A main event tomorrow. I believe I gotta finish top two in my heat race. So it's gonna be fun. I do have a fan of the videos here. You guys have seen him, it's Brody. Brody, do you race? Yes. So Brody races, what class are you in? Box stop. And Brody, so your dad, he's a chassis builder and he has a cart that someone's racing tonight. Who is running it? Matt A. Detto. Matt D. Benedetto. Here's his hero card. He's a NASCAR driver races he just got done running in darling at darlington in south carolina so he's driving the victory chassis what number 44 car right mm -hmm. awesome brody thank you so much for wanting to be in the video and hey sun's out guns out that's right all right cool all right thank you so much brody so tonight night number one of the outlaw cart showcase last year i believe we qualified pretty good and were able to start on the pole the b main event so that was a good start wish we could have put it in the a tonight let's see if we can get a little bit better and start in the first three rows of the a main event Alright, so we're down here at Cycleland Speedway and I just met a fan of the videos. Buddy, what's your name? Landon. Landon. And so Landon here, your brother races. Uh, what, what kind of car does he drive? A sprint car. Sprint car. And then where are you guys from? Uh, from here in California? Awesome. And what's your favorite track? We were just talking. What's your favorite sprint car track here in California? Placerville. Placerville. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching all the videos. Good luck tonight. Have a good one, dude. over here for the Burris Racing Factory 2RC number 18T. We ended up 16th quick in Group B, so not bad, that's decent. Uh, I think we have about 85 cars on tap here for the fourth annual Kyle Larson Outlaw Cart Showcase. We had lots of speed, especially down the straightaways getting in, I felt really good. I think the place where I scrubbed speed the most was my left front was just clipping the berm in one and two. Three and four wasn't bad, hey, but yeah? Hey, anybody go check, see what heat races you guys are Yeah, I'm in the last one. I'm in the last one. But anyway, the left front in three and four wasn't really hopping the berm, but one and two, I was definitely clipping it. I think I was scrubbing a little bit of speed. I think we're gonna probably start second row in the heat race and top two transfer, so we definitely gotta get moving. Got a fan of the videos though down here, buddy. What's your name? It's me again, Nolan. Nolan was in uh, Saturday's video, right? Yeah. Saturday's video. So anyway, got the car all washed up. I'll go show you guys the racetrack real quick. I think since we're in Group B, we're gonna be in one of the later open heat races, and by then, it widens out a little, because they just did some track prep, and they're bringing the grip back. But anyway, 16th quick in Group B out of 42 cars in our group, and I believe 85 overall, so not too bad. Always try so to as I said, they redid the racetrack, and they're plus. trying to bring some of that grip back. It's not slick in the center anymore. Rylan, what do you think the track's really gonna do tonight, buddy? Uh, all I wanna say is it's kinda be, gonna be slick tonight. Yeah, probably. Hey, also, so you said something really cool is happening tonight. Your dad, he owns Kevin Sherrod Designs, does a lot of the graphics on each car out here. And uh, what's his job tonight? Uh, being an official to call the yellows and greens. Awesome, so he's gonna be an official out here in the center. Open heats are lining up, I'm gonna be heading out soon. I start second row outside in our heat race, the final one of eight in the open class. I believe I have Mike Wheeler on the front row outside and Kobe Copeland front row inside. So, got some heavy hitters, gotta get in the top two if we wanna make the main event. Go open uh, heat race number 
Time to head out for the heat race. Probably the most important part of the whole entire weekend. We qualified good, put us in a decent position. We start second row outside. We have Mike Wheeler front row outside, Kobe Copeland front row inside. So guys that have won some pretty big races here in Outlaw Karts. We really just gotta move forward. And honestly, I think our goal going into this is just don't finish third, finish in the top two. That put us in the show. If we could win somehow, uh, not, it's not impossible for sure. I mean, obviously, we uh, anything can happen. We just really need to go forward. And my mindset is go and try to win the deal. Uh, run top, bottom, top's kind of coming in as the heat race is going farther. And so uh, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Run the top and hope for sticks. is getting ready to head out. Kyle's in that, Jesse's in that. They're heading out there right now. I missed it because it was just the top 10 in Group A and top 10 in Group B for qualifying. My heat race is over, I came home third, so I'm gonna be in the B main event tomorrow. Our car was really fast. We had great speed. I think I was throwing it in a little bit too much into one and two. Three and four, I felt good. It's just a little bit tight in the center of the corner. I didn't have a lot of drive off, but at the same time, since I was kind of pitching it in, it was cutting a lot of my exit speed, so. We'll see, we'll get them tomorrow. We're not in a bad spot, we just need to go forward, obviously, in the A main event. Car's looking good though, and like I said, just need to be a little bit better as we get into the night. So, Cycling's not really my cup of tea, I've been saying this a little bit, I'm really working hard to get fast here, but it's tough. It really, really is for me. Uh, it just takes a lot of good laps and really hitting my marks every single time I'm out on the racetrack. I'm gonna go watch the mystery feature. Like I said, I felt pretty good in the heat race. I had Mike Wheeler and Kobe Copeland ahead of me. I tried to slide them. I was going to on the last restart, but I just spun the tires too much and they didn't. But on the restart before, Wheeler and Rodman in front of me spun it and I was able to get into third. I almost think I could have slid for second, but I just didn't thread the needle that much. Anyway, yo, we got some fans of the videos here, buddy. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, what's your name? Mallory. Mallory, what's your name, buddy? You were just in the video not long ago. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, can I hang out with you? Dude, totally, let's hang out. And then, uh, so, yeah, Drew, do you want to be in the video? Yeah. What's your name? Drew, that's Drew. And, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go watch the mystery feature. Uh, I'm all changed, yeah, what? So you sign my shirt. Oh, yes, totally. I will totally sign your shirt here. You wanna hold this just real quick? Stay here. Tell me Okay. Anyway, so we weren't too bad. Just uh, need to get a little bit better and not bad for Cycleland Speedway. But here's one last look at the race car. Wish we could have put her in the show, but I'm still really, really working hard here just to get fast. Once we come Red Bluff, dude, we're going to be in the show and we're going to be winning some races there. I feel pretty confident going into that season. But that's the end for tonight. I'll probably show you guys the racetrack and I need to go get myself a Pepsi because running the fence here is a lot different than running the top at Red Bluff.
So that is gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Obviously, it's after the Outlaw Cart Showcase, but this is night one. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for night number two. I just wanted to do this little clip. So what happened? I did that one, and then I watched the mystery feature. Caleb Henry ended up getting the win. Congratulations to him. He was super, super fast. Kyle Larson was coming. I believe he finished second. And then we just kind of got to talk and loaded the trailer, and then I realized it was midnight, and I'm like, I gotta go do this clip and the lights were shut off, it was really, really dark, I'm like, you know, whatever, I'll just do it like this. But anyway, stay tuned for night number two of the Outlaw Cart Showcase, and I'll see you guys then. But today is Saturday, and we're getting ready to go racing at the Southern Oregon Speedway, so wish me luck there. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and stay tuned for the live stream. Hopefully we can get our first career win and roll the car in the box. Deuces.